Today on Try This At Home, the dark art of the rock riff. Hello and welcome to Try This At Home, the show for fledgling gearheads and those who dabble in the sorcery of rock guitar. You know what I like? Guitar. You know what else I like? Guitar riffs. Riffs are the backbone of my rock and metal songwriting, and I put it to you that there are few things better in music than a killer rock guitar riff. I put riffs into two main types. One is chord based riffs. and the other is note-based riffs. The third, of course, is combining chords and notes into one big riff stew. Pretty tasty, right? So, how do you get started? Well, I'm here to help. First, let's talk chords. For the chord-based riffs, one of the easier ways is to take a simple chord shape, a power chord for instance, and move it around the fretboard. It doesn't have to be just the power chord shape but it's the easiest to use at the start. Drop D tuning is great for this as well. From there, start messing with chiming, rhythms, and strumming patterns. Now, for note-based riffs, scales are your friends. The easiest scale, and the one that I call the instant riff generator, is the minor pentatonic scale. It's simple, it just sounds like rock, and you can easily move it around the fretboard. If you want a little more color, try the blues scale instead. It's the minor pentatonic scale with an extra note, often referred to as the blue note. Like with chords, start messing with timing, rhythms, and strumming patterns from there. Watch this. I don't know what I just played. All I did was mess around with that pentatonic scale shape and it worked. When you find some riffs you like, it's time to put them together. Simply figure out when you're gonna play what and for how long and you'll have yourself a song in fairly short order. I'll go into more detail about song structure and arranging in the next episode, so stay tuned for that. Oh, one last thing. Riffs are a great place to help incorporate new concepts into your playing style. I've done this quite a few times myself. Tapping. String bends. More intricate chords. And alternate tunings, to name a few. that's going to do it for this episode of Try This at Home. If you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes, feel free to leave a comment. If you liked what you saw, you know what to do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.